Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. So, in the mail just came two Nagoya antennas for my Baofeng EV5RA as well as my wife's. And uh, these are apparently the authentic ones. I've been doing a lot of research um, on uh, YouTube and one of the things that will tip you off is whether or not it's authentic or not is not just this little code thing but also you'll have the holographic um, sticker on there as well which these both have so uh, that's what one of the biggest giveaways including probably the packaging I would imagine but um, anyways the antennas that come with the bow fangs like they really suck but uh, I got a pair of these things from wish.com for like six bucks I mean how do you say no to six bucks and this also has the Nagoya NA-771. It's 144 to 430 megahertz, and it is the blue labeling. And there's a lot of talk about this labeling thing too. So from the looks of things, looks like we got authentic ones, which is kind of cool. It's kind of nice getting authentics because some people think they're buying authentic, and um, they end up with copies that are pretty much garbage. So. Uh, just unscrew your stock antenna and throw that in the garbage or keep it in your drawer or something. Uh, now these are SMA female, which is a big thing too. You've got to make sure you got the right one. There we go. And voila. And we're in. So I've got favorites in here. Channel mode. And scan. Oh, I gotta push and hold. Scanning begin. Now there is a um, weather station uh, frequency that is close by me. And I'm gonna take a quick second here. Um, weather channel uh, frequency. So if I remember right, it was the four seven five. Okay, so frequency mode. Up. So we've got one six two one six two four. This is supposed to be the one for us. And hmm, interesting. We're not picking up. Oh, got something there. Let's try. It's the only problem about being in the house. You're not going to get a whole lot of reception. Especially with LED lighting and all that other jazz in the way. So we'll have to do some testing anyways. See what they're like. Um, I would have thought I'd get a little bit more improvement. Um, even in this room. But apparently I don't. Uh, so we'll have to do some testing anyways. But uh, these are definitely going to give us some uh, more high gain output. Uh, for range and everything. And it should suck in the signal better. Uh, but... You do have the problem, like, in the house is a bit of a drag. So I'm definitely going to give this thing a try outside. And um, I'll let you guys know how these do. So stay tuned for uh, reviews on these antennas as well. Um, that will be whenever I get to it. Um, but um, anyways, in the meantime, i got the other one here that is going to go on my wife's radio. So I'll have to go give that to her right now. But, um, yeah, so looks like, like I said, we got authentic ones, which is good. Um, and six bucks for the both of them from wish.com, you know, plus there was shipping on there um, And the shipping is actually pretty uh, reasonable um, And we got them in time way ahead of schedule. They weren't supposed to be here on February 3rd um, But shipping uh, was about seven bucks. So $13 uh, With the shipping to Canada. So that's pretty good. Um, don't mind that at all um and now, the one thing I noticed they've started doing on their site, too, 
um, recently is now you can, they, they pre-select another buyer that's really inexpensive. Um, so you can buy with other shoppers if you wanted to. Uh, so I, I'm on the page right now. And of course it says six bucks, right direct with this guy. Um, or you can deal with this other person down below and save 90 cents. So $5 and 10 cents. And you get a package of two of these. And uh, because we have two radios, we bought two. But you know what? I buy a pack of two anyways, even if you only have one radio to worry about. Because if anything ever happens to this, at least you'd have a spare. You know, which is kind of handy too, right? But anyways, um, that's what I got for you for today. So uh, let me know what you guys think so far. And if you've got any experience with these Nagoyas. Uh, again, this is the NA-771 144 to 430 MHz dual band antenna. Uh, I think it's pretty cool actually. It's pretty uh, flexible. It has a little bit of weight to it, you know, which is good. You want a little bit of weight there. Um, so there's like a spring, I guess, in here type of deal. But um, yeah, there you go. And it fits the Balfang UVR absolutely perfectly, even in the ring area. It fits great. So now I can take this antenna and uh, do something with it. But, anyways, spare, I guess. See ya.